The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The South African Nuclear Energy Corporation, better known as NEXA, displayed a demonstration unit of a new waste disposal system at the recent Innovation Bridge event in Pretoria. Keith Campbell was there. As a spin-off from its work on processing nuclear waste, NEXA has developed its own technology to carry out plasma gasification, which is a concept that is already used overseas to dispose of waste. NEXA Applied Chemistry Senior Scientist, Dr. Jaco van der Volt explains. The plasma technology that we develop at NEXA was uh, applied for various purposes relating to the nuclear industry. So after we decided that uh, we're going to use it for that purpose, we also saw that there's a big benefit that we can apply this for non-nuclear waste. Um, so that is why we uh, explore different types of waste and different processes and different offset points where we can uh, apply the technology and really make something of it. So in essence what it is, is it, it uses a very high temperature uh, thermal plasma which means it's a welding arc and inside the welding arc you pass a gas through it and you create a tail flame and in the tail flame is where we do our magic. We feed in uh, carbon containing waste that includes plastics and it includes paper and tires and even medical waste and nuclear waste. We feed into the system and uh, the bulk of the waste is being completely uh, converted into gas. Now this gas is a valuable gas because it contains carbon monoxide and hydrogen and you call this mixture syngas. Uh, syngas is then filtered and cleaned up in the process before uh, you can then uh, use that as a building block for various possibilities. Uh, one is for electricity generation directly and another uh, possibility is to produce fuel uh, via a very well-known process uh, called fisher trops. Um, so this whole process can be applied into various areas and industries and depending on that you can produce either only fuel or only electricity or steam or heat. Um, the possibilities is uh, really endless. We would like to optimize the system as far as possible. With regards to uh, municipal waste we would like to benefit everyone as far as we can. So. Uh, the process will be optimized for waste not containing any metals and not containing any plastics that can be recycled. So everything that's left that cannot be recycled, we put into this process and we can then beneficiate that tremendously by producing electricity. If one look at medical waste, the whole market looks much different. And uh, for medical waste, we would take the uh, waste boxes as it is without any sorting and introduce this into that system. So in essence, uh, the system will look uh, significantly different for medical waste than it would for municipal waste. Other news making headlines this week, turbines boost mine power at Anglo Gold Ashanti. A new prestigious competition seeks to showcase and inspire local entrepreneurs and a property sale provides profitability impetus for AECI. Gold major Anglo Gold Ashanti is installing turbines in underground mines to boost energy regeneration as part of a strategy of recovering electricity without spending significant amounts of capital. The strategy we followed was to look at how we could recover energy without spending significant amounts of capital. And what we've done is put in energy regeneration or energy capture plants um, in the form of turbines at two of our mines. Um, without having to put significant amount of capital in and thereby getting the benefit um, almost immediately on our bottom line. 
The 2015 Sanlam Business Partners Entrepreneur of the Year competition was launched in February in Johannesburg with the main focus on creating and inspiring entrepreneurs to create jobs and boost the economy. The Sanlam Business Partners Entrepreneur of the Year awards honour and celebrates South African SMEs. The competition recognises excellence in entrepreneurship. And through this competition, we identify those successful entrepreneurs. We share and celebrate their stories. And in doing so, we hope to inspire not only current entrepreneurs to do better, but we hope to inspire specifically the youth and other individuals to become the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. The completion of the bulk surplus property sale of a 2,300 hectare heartland property in Modifontein to Chinese investors, as well as a record performance from the Speciality Chemicals Cluster, were key to the growth of AECI's profitability. The back of all, probably what offset the strike was probably the sale of the Modifontein land. And of course, you know, it was quite opportune for us to take it at this point. We pulled it through and we'd been able by our special dividend to give a special dividend to our, to our shareholders. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.